Nepal earthquake. British survivors arrived back in UK a plane carrying 120 British people caught up in the Nepal earthquake has arrived back in the UK. There were emotional scenes as family members greeted relatives off the aid flight, which landed at Stansted Airport shortly after 3 o'clock BST. Saturday 7.8 magnitude quake killed more than 5,000 people and injured at least 10,000. The Foreign Office has confirmed that one Britain was among the victims. It is investigating reports another has died. The victim, who had dual nationality and has not been named, had been living in Hong Kong, Foreign Secretary Philip Hammond said. He said hundreds of Britons had been accounted for but the situation remained extremely challenging because of widespread infrastructure damage caused by the earthquake, landslides and avalanches. The scale of the disaster and the limited communications means that it may be some time before we can account for everyone. Many are likely to be in a place of safety but not able to communicate easily, he said. Meanwhile, the teenage boy has been rescued after surviving for five days in the rubble of a building destroyed by the earthquake. Among those arriving back in the UK on board the Department for International Development DFID chartered Boeing 767, which flew aid out to Nepal on Sunday, were children and people chosen as a priority because of health conditions. The youngest passenger was a three month old baby. Husband and wife Graham and Holly Jobes, from Sunderland, were reunited as he stepped through immigration. Narrow escape Mr. Jobes, who was in Nepal for a friend's wedding, later told the BBC he was in Kathmandu when the earthquake struck. The whole building started shaking. We were caught in the middle of a very, quite horrifying, earthquake with the terrifying results you have seen over the last few days, he said.